Hi YouTube, it's Christy, Nolan, and Cameron's running around in the background there. He's being pouty and grumpy, so uh, he may be grumpy through this video. He, this is just going to be an everything update. Cameron is extremely grumpy and pouty and just defiant anymore. He doesn't listen to a single thing I tell him. He just laughs whenever I tell him to do something and just is bad. He hits his brother all the time. He pushed a shopping cart like his toy shopping cart over him the other day. I just don't know what to do. You know, it's really the terrible twos. He's going to be two on Sunday. And we're having a car's birthday party for him, which I'm excited about. We got him um, like a little Power Wheels, small, small one. It's designed for one and a half to three year olds. And it's made up of cars. And I think he'll absolutely love that. He'll, he'll have a ball with it. We got him a little play kitchen. It's like a circle table one. Um, I did a video on it. I got it cheap at Target a long time ago. So um, we're going to give him that and the cars thing and just a few other small toys. Nothing major, but his theme is cars because he just loves cars anymore. Anything cars, he's like, boom, boom, and he gets so excited whenever we pass him at the store. You know, he's got a cars book. He always pulls that out. Just super excited. So he started to um, escape from his crib. So we took the front rail off and converted it to a toddler bed. So some toy making noise over there. Cameron, can you get that toy out? Get it out! Um, sorry. This is going to be a disaster of a video. <laughs> um, Cameron, get it out of there! I'm going to take it away! It just doesn't listen to anything I say at all anymore. And it's driving me insane, actually. It's just, he, he won't take a nap in the day anymore because he can crawl out of his bed. And he will not go to sleep in his bed for anything. Um, I actually put one of those little door things on his room door to try to trap him in here. And I've actually rearranged his room quite a bit to make it safer. I took his bookcase out of here so that he can pull all the books off and knock it down on himself if he tried to climb it and stuff like that. So that way I can kind of wrap him in here. We have a video monitor, so of course I'm watching him, but I don't know what else to do to get him to go to sleep because he absolutely refuses to take a nap anymore and he's so grumpy that he needs a nap. But yeah, he's been crawling out of his crib for probably the last four or five days. And we just took the crib rail oh. off like three or four days ago maybe. Um, so yeah, it's a disaster though. Last night was the first time I actually got him to sleep in his um, crib without the rail on. It's basically his toddler bed now. And it was only because I slept on the, f I didn't really sleep, but I laid down on the floor next to him until he fell asleep. And then I left his door cracked and I left our room open and he ended up in our room at five o'clock because I figured he'd wake up and get mad, so. Um, I just don't know what to do to make him happy in the bed. Um, he just knows that he can get out now and he's defiant and he doesn't want to listen or do anything he's supposed to. So it's been really rough, really stressful. You know, of course, I love him, no doubt about that, but it's just been extremely stressful the past few days, really about the past week. And Nolan, Nolan's been pretty good. He's fussy, he just wants to be held all the time, you know, as long as you're holding him happy as can be but if you put him down he just gets grumpy he just cries and wants to be held um, he can now sit on his own you know completely unassisted he'll fall here and there but he can go from a laying to a sitting position on his own he doesn't specifically crawl yet but he gets all over the room if he wants to like if you put a toy there he will get to it um, you still just got the two teeth um, really likes to play with Sophie and like um, bath stacking cups. They're the ones I got at consignment sale. I did a video about that too. He loves to just pick up those things and chew on them. So I give him a lot of times for toys. It's just those cups and Sophie. And he has this elf he likes to play with. Yeah. He chews on everything. Drills all over the place. His clothes are soaking wet by the end of the day. We have made the switch to more or less cloth diapers. Um, I'm still using disposables at night. I don't 
I don't know. I just don't trust trying cloth yet overnight. Cameron, no. Um, I just need to find something and research a little more on what I think might work overnight. I've been using mostly all the diapers um, I have to review. So this is one that I bought. This is the first one I bought, Charlie Banana. Um, I'm doing laundry right now, so um, that's why I'm in one that I bought. Otherwise, I've just been using the review ones only right now, unless I run out, and then I use the ones I've bought. So I haven't even prepped or gotten all those ones I bought from Target ready yet, but soon enough I will. Um, that's it. Nolan had really, really, really bad rash to begin with with the cloth diapers, and um, I spoke with the people at Jack B Natural. They have kind of a live chat option that, you know, you can ask questions if they're available, and we email back and forth, and they were a ton of help. I really like them. I placed an order with them for some stuff. Highly, highly recommend them if you have any questions. They are super helpful, super nice. The lady, Stacy from Jackie Natural, actually called me to talk to me about information and was on the phone with me for probably 10 minutes. So, um, great, great, great company. Highly recommend them. Um, but he had a terrible, terrible rash after using the cloth diapers. So I've been using disposables for about the last... Well, I've been back to cloth for about two days now, but before that I stopped for about four days because of the rash, and I didn't know... Cameron? No. Um, so he just doesn't listen. I didn't know what was causing the rash and why it was happening, and I think it was that I was leaving him in too long. I'm used to disposables, and you can leave your kid in them for quite a while, but with cloth you really need to change them about every one to two hours, and since I've been doing that, um, no rash, you know, the rash had cleared up and that's when I started again. So I'm thinking that was my problem. Um, it's just hard to tell for me if they're wet in the cloth or not. Um, I'm sure that's something I'll get used to and figure out. You know, I could tell with disposables, no problem, but now with cloth, it's, I'm new to it. I, you know, I've done a lot of research and I've lo watched a lot of other videos on YouTube about cloth diapers, but I'm new to it, so I'm not... I'm not perfect, and that's what this, um, I'm kind of going to do a series, like a new to cloth series eventually, you know, from switching from disposables to cloth, and just from, camera. no, 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 um, so my reviews, you know, will not be from a cloth expert point of view, it'll be from a new to cloth point of view, which, um, will hopefully help some people. Cameron, no! He will not stop, so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that, but we're doing good overall, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.